subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. Welcome to the iPhone 8 Plus versus the iPhone 10s Max speed test. Let's begin with a boot up test in three, two, one, and see which one can get there first. Now this is a 256 gigabyte model 10s Max. This is a 64 gigabyte iPhone 8 Plus, and this basically is replacing the iPhone 8 Plus as the plus size model of the latest iPhone you can get. So a lot of people might be wondering, should they upgrade their 8 Plus from last year to this guy, or even a 7 Plus? And you've seen the iPhone 8 Plus actually boot up first over the iPhone 10s Max. So nice stuff so far for the 8 Plus. Now, one thing to note about this, if you come from the 8 Plus to the 10s Max, you do get Face ID. Now, no more Touch ID like you could find for the iPhone 8 Plus. So that's something you're going to have to get used to. But let's go ahead and see which one does respond first on the lock screen. You can see no differences here, and they're both very quick. Let's go ahead and check the cameras. And you can see it looks like the 8 Plus was a little bit ahead. Let's go ahead and do that one more time. Three, two, one. And you could see the 8 Plus right now ahead of the 10s Max. Okay, guys, so we've arrived at the application speed test portion of this video. This has an Apple A11 Bionic chip. This has an Apple A12 Bionic chip. We have three gigabytes of RAM on the left, four gigabytes of RAM on the right, three core GPU and a four core Apple GPU on the right. So it looks like everything is upgraded, but does that make a difference in the real world? Let's go ahead and begin with calendar three, two, one. And you could see, no, not really coming home now if you're coming from an 8 plus to a max you can see very similar performance there you're gonna have to swipe up from the bottom versus a click on the home button from before let's go into clock you can see almost identical we're not seeing huge gains here for the 10s max let's go into news and you can see news loads first for the 10s max coming home let's go into twitter and you can see Twitter is opened about identical, maybe very, very, very slight if you put it in super slow-mo on the 10s Max. Let's go into the Snapchat. You can see Snapchat on the right to the 10s Max. Let's go into Instagram, three, two, one. And maybe because it has a better touch response time, it might be a little bit faster for the 10s Max, but right there, it looked about the same. Let's go over here to the profile page and you can see very similar stuff. And this is what I was saying before. I don't think you're gonna see big upgrades when it comes to the performance. Let's go into WhatsApp, at least on this first update because you've seen WhatsApp was pretty close. It needs maybe a few updates on the 10s Max. Let's go to YouTube. And you can see YouTube is identical on both. So again, I would not come from an eight plus to a 10s Max just for performance gains. Let's go into Prime Video. No matter what they were talking about, their five trillion, bazillion, kajillion, mazillion, you know, transistors or whatever. You've seen right there, Prime Video opens first on the iPhone XS Max. Let's go into Amazon. And you can see Amazon, very similar, I think, slightly to the XS Max. But, I mean, these gains, what are they? They're just very minimal. Let's click this. You can see the A plus there. So, this is not going to be noticeable on a day-to-day -day eBay. You can see eBay first on the right. Let's go ahead and scroll through. You can see not a huge difference. Let's go into Slither. Now here is where the 10s Max should win, slightly ahead there over the 8 Plus. And let's come home here. Let's come out of here before I get eaten. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride. See which one is first here. And looks like, wow, that was pretty darn close, almost identical performance here so really what you're going to is that oled screen upgrade you're going to a slightly better well not a slightly it's a pretty decent upgrade in the camera and you should be getting better battery life with the 10s max with the newer design but performance stuff not so much let's go into dead trigger 2 and you can see we should see the 10s max win here and it does let's go into play but which one can get into the actual game first and again, it's like very, very slight. Like you would have to slow the video down to see the 10s Max win a couple of these, but it is winning a couple of them. But I mean, it's like, really, that doesn't really make a difference if you got to slow it down in slow-mo to see this. Let's go into PUBG Mobile, three, two, one. And this is a more graphically intensive game. I will speed it up and we'll come back when we actually get into the game. You'll still see it in the speed up though. Okay, so the 10s Max, again, was just very, very slightly ahead of the iPhone 8 Plus. Let's start the match. 
see which one can get in there first. They are on the same Wi-Fi network, so should be pretty fair here. But yeah, just again, just very, very slight. I mean, wow. So yeah, the Tennis Max was ready to get into that match first for PUBG Mobile. You get more screen here to play that match in, so that take that for what it is. You might like that aspect of the iPhone XS Max. Let's go into the Antutu benchmark, 3, 2, 1, and see which one gets there first. Again, you've seen it right there, the iPhone XS Max. Let's go to Geekbench, and you can see that was the iPhone 8 Plus. And again, some apps need to be optimized for these new devices. So, you know, let's go into Speed Test, and you can see even. And let's go into the next one, Video Shop, 3, 2, 1. And you can see, I think it was slightly to the tennis max. Let's go into the camera. I'm going to have to lift the phone up so you can see right here. Three, two, one. And you can see, I didn't even see that one. Let me know down below. Pretty close stuff here again for both devices. So that's it on the single round of speed test. What I'm seeing is barely no noticeable difference in the real world. Unless you have these side by side, you'll see the milliseconds of a difference. Now, this could change with iOS updates. But for now, my conclusion is for the single core, at least the single app opening day to day stuff. The iPhone 8 Plus is going to hang right there with the XS Max and almost everything you do. So look to the other upgrades if you're thinking about doing this upgrade. Let's go on to the multitasking round. OK, so let's just quickly go through these apps. What we're testing for here is just to see if we get a reload on anything and i don't think we will i never got reloads really on the 8 plus and with four gigs of ram bringing more ram to the 10s max i don't expect it here either so keep that in mind a dead trigger 2 both of them had that open a jetpack joyride same thing here on both and this might be a testament to how well ios 12 is optimized as well but the a11 i mean you know with this a12 you cannot act like the A11 is not still a beast. It's still better than most Android chipsets. And, ooh, did that, was that a reload there? Or was maybe that just a, you know, internet reload for reloading up the YouTube page? Let me know down below. Let's go into WhatsApp. And that looked like it stuttered a little bit on the 10s Max. What about Instagram? Let's see Instagram over here. That looked like it kind of loaded up again, too, on the 10s Max. Let's go into the Snapchat. About the same, let's go into Twitter. And you can see Twitter is similar there. Let's go into news. And it doesn't matter if I click these at the same time. This is just to see if we get any reloads. What about the clock? And you can see very similar stuff in calculator. And let's go into calendar. So there we go with the multitasking. I had a couple of hiccups here on the 10s Max. I think that. The iOS 12 is more optimized for the 8 Plus because it's been on the market longer. They've been working on it longer. So I think the 10s Max needs a couple updates before it catches up to the speed of the 8 Plus when it comes to the optimization because it's a brand new device. But for now, I think the multitasking round went to the 8 Plus. Let me know your thoughts down below. Okay, guys, so here we are with the internet speed test. We're just going to go ahead and see which one is quicker. You can really see the differences in screen sizes here with this white background. Let's go into the Apple 3, 2, 1. And see which one gets there first. That looked like the 10s Max. Scrolling speeds are very well optimized on both. So you're really not going to notice too much of a difference. You didn't get the 120 hertz refresh rate to the 10s Max. So if you're expecting that, that's not on board. Let's go into how about we go over to this Android Central website and see what happens here. You can see that look like they're both still loading. So. That looks like the 10s Max finished at first. So yeah, you're getting an upgrade here. It looks like in speed of the internet. So let's go into yahoo.com here, three, two, one, and see which one gets there first. And that one looked like there was the A+. So like I say, scrolling gonna be very similar here. You just get more viewing area for the iPhone 10s Max. So that's gonna be your true upgrade here in the internet is that you get more viewing area. But remember, it's no longer a 16 by nine display. So if you like your traditional standard resolution 16 by nine, you're not gonna like too much the iPhone 10s Max. And if you really liked the LCD technology on the eye, you might not like the OLED screen if you really enjoyed LCD technology. So just keep that in mind as well. But the internet speed test, I'm calling it about a draw here. Okay, so here we are with the video rendering test. One minute clip on both devices. We're gonna hit next at the same time in three, two, one. See which one can compile and render this video first. This will be pretty nice to see if we get an upgrade here for the 10s Max. And it looks like we do. 
So the XS Max finished that video first and you see that it wasn't ahead by too much, but I think if you shot a much longer video, the XS Max would definitely pull way ahead. So heavier stuff like this video rendering is where you're gonna see the performance gains for the iPhone XS or XS Max devices. Okay, so the final Geekbench scores are in and look at these scores on the XS Max. They're just incredible. 4828 on the single core, 11,556 on the multi-core, 4266, still incredible for the A+, and 10,586. So definitely a nice upgrade on the single, not too much, but the multi-core, big improvement for the iPhone 8 Plus. But we all know these Geekbench scores don't really make a difference in real world performance. They're just to say, I got a better Geekbench score than you do. All right, so that's it. What'd you guys think? I mean, personally, I didn't expect the XS Max to beat the iPhone 8 Plus easily, and it definitely didn't. It was only ahead in some of the more demanding things like compiling that video and video shop. It was a little faster, I think, in some of the games, opening the games, those demanding things. And a Geekbench score, of course, you can flex your Geekbench score on the older iPhone 8 Plus, but other than that, I think the true upgrades come mainly to the screen. The bigger, more beautiful display in the OLED technology, you do get the notch. So if you didn't like the notch, you went with the A+, because you didn't like the notch. Well, you're stuck with the notch going forward, at least if you go with the XS Max and you don't want to wait until Apple gets rid of that in the future of the iPhone. You're also getting a better camera here on the rear. We're going to talk more in depth about these two in a full comparison, but I think it's the other upgrades you got to look to with the XS Max coming from the A+, because yes, you do have a slightly improved demanding performance, like when you're doing stuff like AI, or you're using some more demanding games on the Apple iOS App Store, but when it comes to just everyday real world performance, it's pretty much a wash between these two. I don't think the average consumer is gonna be able to tell a difference, quite honestly. So look to the other upgrades. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button for me. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more. Nick here helping you to master your technology.